Welcome back, Matt Peterson with you. We start the second quarter from Houston. It's 15-15, Swayze, Bellamy, Bukanevich, Austin, and Good in the five on the floor. India Bellamy turns it over. She tried an entry pass into Ashley Austin. Fisher on the bench after taking a hard illegal screen. Rice with eight available players tonight trying to find a way to hand Western Kentucky its first loss of the conference season. Rice sticks with the man-to-man -man defense. Savori, Mead, Meredith, Foster, and Blevins, the five on the floor. For Greg Collins and the Western Kentucky Toppers. There's a wide open three for Mead off the back iron. Nice, tough offensive rebound from Foster underneath. And she draws a foul. That's Jalen Foster. 17 minutes per game. Between five points and four rebounds. 11 in the red and black. Forward from Austin, a freshman. 15-15, Rice and Western Kentucky. Rice, it's home opener in conference play. They see Blevins out there on the court. The three is missed from Alexis Mead. And Rice gets it over half court after some pressure in the backcourt. Gooden throws it into traffic. Austin hustles to keep it alive. Rice must be more careful on these passes. Five turnovers in the first quarter. Buckenevrich steps back and hits the mid-range. Nice shot from Buckenevrich. Buckenevrich averaging nine points, four rebounds on the season, shooting 34% from the field. She's better from deep, 42% on the season. Buckenevrich, 18 for 43 from beyond the arc. 17-5 Rice over Western Kentucky, eight and a half minutes left. Second quarter, Hope Savori. A sophomore guard from Louisville. Baseline pass, Bellamy knocks it away. Six left on the shot clock for the toppers. A rice, it's conference opener. Postponed and a loss at Middle Tennessee, 87-63 a week ago. One second left on the shot clock. Toppers don't realize that it's a violation. Last one with the ball was Macy Blevins, the freshman guard. And I'm on a cello, Kentucky. Lady Toppers stick with the full court press. It's basically a 2-3 full court. Swayze decide not to take the three. She gets to the mid range. Off the window. Haley Swayze, 12 points in the early going. Excellent start for Haley Swayze. Swayze, the junior from Purcell, Oklahoma, Purcell High School. Rice nearly with a steal on the baseline. Last touch by Gooden, who could not bring it in. Now Swayze averaging 31 minutes per game, 12 points and four rebounds. She's equaled her season average tonight, and we're only three minutes into the second quarter. Good pressure there from Gooden. Savori into the paint. Uses her pivot, kicks it out. Open three, Blevins off the back iron. Offensive rebound by Savori at the free throw line. Rice flying all over the court defensively. It's Walker off to the left with Savori. Now Savori gets a screen, 10 to shoot. Savori travels, took a long Euro step with the ball right around the CUSA logo. Rice has clamped down the defense. Swayze, Bellamy, Buckenevich, Austin, and Gooden on the floor for Rice. Savori, Meredith, Foster, Blevins, and Walker. It's a breather here for Maral Abdelbagla, the leading scorer for Western Kentucky. Swayze, back for Buckenevich. Buckenevich gets the screen from Austin. She spins, Gooden tries a three. That short just grazed the rim. Rebounded by Macy Blevins, the freshman from Monticello, Kentucky. Savori. Tried it with the left hand off the window, missed. Ashley Austin with the rebound. Here come the Owls. Good and no look pass to Swayze. Corner three is short. Buckenevrich offensive rebound and put back. Seven points for Maya Buckenevrich. Plus three rebounds. Rice leading 21-15. It's its largest lead tonight. Savori with the backdoor cut. And she'll finish. Hope Savori her first two points. And it's 21-17 Rice. Two in the backcourt, applying pressure for Western Kentucky. It's Walker 
guarding Trinity Gooden. Gooden lobs it to the free throw line extended for Austin. India Bellamy sets a screen. Austin lost it off her foot. Down court is Jalen Foster. Uncontested layup for the freshman from Austin. Rice looks tired. Trinity Gooden breathing heavily as she carries the ball up the court. Again, only eight available players for Rice. Two are back to return. And Fisher and Destiny Jackson. Bukinevich misses an 18-footer. Nice transition defense. Haley Swayze playing safety. She intercepts the pass intended for Hope Savori. Swayze gets back to the free throw line, misses it. India Bellamy, offensive rebound. Her putback rolls off the rim. Loose ball picked up by Bukinevich at the Old English R. Extra possession here for Rice. Handed off here for Trinity Gooden. Gooden to Swayze. Swayze faces up. Good fake with her eyes. Now she's double teamed. That's a jump ball. Excellent defense on the help side by Macy Blevins. Two come back for Rice. Malia Fisher and Destiny Jackson. Fisher averaging nine points and nine rebounds, 29 minutes per game. Jackson, seven points, six assists in 28 and a half minutes per game. Backcourt pressure from Destiny Jackson against Jenna Walker. Handoff here from AC Blevins. Top of the key, jab step right. Short pass right side for Hope Savoli, thrown inside. Caught there by Jalen Foster. And one opportunity right off the bench. Maral Abdel Gawad, the senior from Egypt, had just returned to the game. And she will back to the free throw line. She's such an efficient player, up to 10 points already. Four or five from the field, plus four rebounds. We've reached the media timeout. A good one here in Houston. A 6 nothing run for the Lady Toppers. And we're tied at 21. Five minutes left, second quarter in Houston. Rice 21, Western Kentucky 21. This is Rice Owls basketball from Learfield. I Welcome back. Matt Peterson with you from Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston. It's 21-21. Western Kentucky 3-0 in conference USA play. Rice is 0-1. A 6-0 run for the Lady Toppers before the media timeout. And now a three-point play opportunity for Arel Abdel Gawad. She converts the three-point play opportunity and the Lady Toppers lead by a point. It's a 7-0 run. Lady Toppers shooting 43% from the field, two for nine from deep. Ice back out there with Fisher, Jackson, Swayze, Bellamy, and Bukinevich. It's Swayze, already 12 points tonight. Crossover dribble, Swayze gets the left block. Looking for help, finds it with India Bellamy, 10 to shoot. She tries it from 15 feet, misses off the left window. Rebounded by Hope Savori. Corner three, too long. It was there for Jalen Foster. Backside rebound, Destiny Jackson. Haley Swayze now surveying her options. Fisher steps out for a three. That's off the right rim. Hope Savori with the long rebound. Savori, two on three. Gets to the paint. Wisely decides to back it out. Slings a pass cross court. Open three is there from Macy Blevins, the freshman from Monticello. And Rice calls time. 10-0 run for the Owls. Transition defense not good enough. Lindsey Edmonds quickly calls time. 30-second timeouts. Lindsey Edmonds, first year at Rice. Worked with Wes Moore. 190 wins, including a 89-39 and 39 mark in the ACC. Five NCAA tournament appearances. Three Sweet 16s, including last season. Uh, last year, the Wolfpack were 22-3. and three. They won the ACC tournament for a second straight year, finished the season number seven of the top 25 poll. After the 30-second timeout, Swayze inbounds to Destiny Jackson. 10-0 run for Western Kentucky. From six down to four up. Jackson gets to the left block. Bukinevich hesitation. And a foul as she dashed to the basket, committed by Macy Blevins. First on Blevins. It's Jackson will inbound. Jackson off to Bucket Nebrich. A three-pointer from the left corner is short. Jackson gets the rebound. 
Jackson back for Swayze. She tries a three. That's off the left rim. Offensive rebound, Jackson, and she'll score. Two offensive rebounds on the same possession, and that is enough for the Western Kentucky coaching staff and Greg Collins to call time. 20 wins in two of his first three seasons. A 72% winning percentage inside Diddle Arena. Louisville native Greg Collins. Stayed home, went to Louisville. 59 and 42, now in his fourth season at Western Kentucky. After the timeout, the toppers into the front court. 1-3-1 one, one defense. Coach Edmonds varying the defenses for Rice. Fisher at the top of the 1-3-1. One, one. Toppers very patient as they work to the left side with Macy Blevins. Under the basket. It was last touched by Bellamy. Lady Topper basketball, 10 left on the shot clock. Western Kentucky leading 25-23. Baseline right, inbounds play. Stolen by Jackson, who was out there for Savori. Jackson the other way. Jackson will lay it up and in. A steal, a run out, and a finish for Destiny Jackson. We're tied at 25. Savori back the other way. There's Bellamy with the block. Rice basketball, it was caught by Savori, but her feet were on the baseline. Trinity good in return. Savori goes to the bench. Three changes in quick order. As three go to the bench for Western Kentucky. Gooden, Swayze, Fisher, Buckenevich, and Bellamy on the floor for Rice. Gooden thought about the three. She got the high screen from Fisher. Now it's Fisher top of the key. They're daring her to take the deep shot. She does miss off the back iron. Western Kentucky clears the rebound with Macy Blevins. Mead, Abdelbagwad, Meredith, Blevins, and Kulo on the court. Here's Kulo underneath. Missed it. Good look off the right window. Selma Kulo, the sophomore from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Another turnover from Rice. Here come the toppers. Excellent outlet pass. Maya Meredith, reverse layup. And the Lady Toppers back in front, 27-25. Maya Meredith, freshman from Taylor Mill, Kentucky. Second leading scorer on the team, averaging 13 points per game and 27 minutes per contest. Lady Toppers up by two, Bukinevich. Tried to roll off a screen. There's a foul by Macy Blevins as she tried to catch Buckinevich. Second team foul against the Lady Toppers. Been a very even game. Largest lead for Western Kentucky, four. Rice's largest lead, six points. It was tied at 15 after one quarter. Lady Toppers currently up by two. Here's Swayze. Her shot blocked. Excellent block from Maya Meredith. The freshman got out there to block the three-point shot. Now Fisher makes the catch. A steal in transition. Two minutes left, second quarter. Rice in transition. Cross-court pass to Swayze. Lady Toppers have 12 turnovers. Rice have committed eight. Here's Fisher between the leg dribble. Top of the key now for Swayze. Swayze taller than her defender, Alexis Mead. Gets the high screen. India Bellamy. Swayze rolling. Draws a double team. Throws it off her defender. Last touch by Selma Chulo. Seven left on the shot clock. Inbound it to Fisher from eight feet. Rattles it home. Malia Fisher, her first two points tonight. Another tie at 27-27. And traveling the call against Alexis Mee, the freshman from Moreno Valley, California, got into the paint but shuffled the feet. 27-27 after the 13th turnover for Western Kentucky. 125 left, second quarter in Houston. Tied at 27. Rice walks it up. Trinity good under no pressure. Finds Fisher baseline left. She'll fire it inside to India Bellamy for the finish. Excellent feed. Fisher finds Bellamy. Bellamy's first two points. Rice back up by two. 106 left in the second quarter. Miral Abdelbagwad. 
The Egyptian thought about the three and said she dribbles it a few times to the left hand, crosses it over against Bellamy, gets in the paint between two to finish. Miral Abdelgalad showing her sophistication there, finding a better shot. And she has 13 points to lead the Lady Toppers here in the first half. Open three, India Bellamy, that's short. Rebound tap to Alexis Mead. Football pass over the top, kicked out to Maya Meredith. She tries a three and got it. A game of runs here inside Tudor Fieldhouse. Another run for Western Kentucky. Lady Toppers leading by three with 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Trinity Gooden beats the pressure. Western Kentucky has hit its last three shots from the field. Shot clock is off, 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Trinity Gooden gets a high screen into Bellamy. Gooden rolling, slashing out to Bellamy. Buchanevich, three-pointer blocked. Fisher was fouled. A reach in underneath, committed there by Selma Trulo. Alexis Mead, I beg your pardon, committed the foul. First foul on me, 13 foul. India Bellamy goes off for the final 5.9 seconds. Ashley Austin returns. Baseline right inbound play for Trinity Gooden. She throws it into Swayze. Swayze tightly guarded, gets inside the three point line, throws it back. Buckenevich, one second left in the half. Short. Good defense from Aral Abdel Goad. Leading scorer in this game, the senior from Egypt, Miral Abdel Goad. And Western Kentucky heads to the locker room up by three Lindsay Edmonds pleading her case to the officials as we go to halftime Western Kentucky with 13 points Amiral Abdel Gawad and the Lady Toppers lead Rice 32 29 halftime in Houston Western Kentucky up by three this is Rice Owls basketball from Learfields Welcome back. We are set for the third quarter from Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston. 32-29, Rice leading over Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky finishing the first half on a nice run to take the three-point lead. Rice back home for the first time in a month. Last home game was against Texas a and Corpus Christi on December 11th. Trying to even up their conference record at one and one. Haley Swayze will inbound and back in play inside Tudor Fieldhouse. Matt Peterson with you. Rice in the white and blue, Western Kentucky in the red and black. Destiny Jackson had it stolen. Excellent defense from Meredith. The steal, the run out and the finish. Maya Meredith, second leading scorer on the team at 13 points per game. 22 steals on the season before play tonight. She has two blocks and three steals. A defensive force for Meredith, who's up to 10 points. Western Kentucky leads by five. Bukinevich to Swayze. Swayze inside to Austin. Austin spinning, left it short with the left hand. Foster with the rebound. Here come the Lady Toppers. Blocking foul on the Left baseline against Haley Swayze as Miral Abdel Gawad drove to the basket. Abdel Gawad, game high 13 points, five of six from the field. The inbounds pass is stolen by Bukinevich. Blevins threw it in. 14 turnovers now for the Lady Toppers. Aliyah Fisher near the corner. Throws it right to Meredith, Meredith an easy steal. She runs it out and scores. Excellent defense tonight from Maya Meredith. Two blocks, four steals and 12 points for the freshman from Taylor Mill, Kentucky. She's matched a season high now with those four steals. Buckenevich inside the three point line. Great feed for Fisher. She missed the layup. But there's a loose ball foul on the rebound. Excellent pass, Buck and Everett's caught in the air, threw it inside to Fisher. Trinity good in returns. Eight available players for Rice. A very, very short bench. Ariana McCurry has not played tonight, so it's been a seven player rotation so far. Macy Blevins goes to the bench. Teresa Faustino, the sophomore from Portugal, enters for the first time tonight. Fisher's Free throw is off the back iron. 
Alia Fisher, freshman from Tecula, Georgia. 54% free throw shooter on the season. She makes the second. One of two for Fisher. She goes to the bench. Gooding replaces her. Western Kentucky 36. Rice 30. Fisher to the bench with three points. Backcourt pressure from Destiny Jackson. She's guarding Alexis Mead. Six point lead for the Lady Toppers. Eight and a half minutes left. Third quarter in Houston. Bounce pass to the top of the key. Jalen Foster leaves it for Maya Meredith. Now it's Faustino, the Portuguese guard. Faustino gets past Swayze. Her pass is kicked by Buckendevich. Shot clock reset to 20 seconds. With the Lady Toppers up by six. Inbounds play coming, baseline left. Alexis Mead will inbound it. Mead looking towards the corner. Said she goes top of the key. Miral Abdel Gawad, the Egyptian guard. Great crossover dribble, gets inside and draws the foul. Trinity Gooden fouling Abdel Gawad, who will go to the free throw line. Career 10 points per game for Miral Abdel Gawad. Tonight's her 100 second start in her four seasons in Bowling Green. 35 games as a freshman, 29 the season after, 23 and now 14. She misses the first free throw. She's a career 64% free throw shooter, 72% this season. She makes the second. 11 points last year per game. She's up to 19 and a half this season, a breakout senior year for Miral Abdel Gawad. She makes one of two, seven point lead now for the Lady Toppers. She nearly got a steal from Swayze, but the pass to the top of the key is stolen by Faustino. Back to Abdel Gawad and the Egyptian lays it up and in. Nearly a reach around steal from Abdel Gawad. It was finally stolen by Faustino on the pass. Nine point lead, Austin catches at the baseline. Knocked out by Western Kentucky. Rice basketball down nine. Now Rice led by six midway through the second quarter. But have gone cold offensively since that point. Now down by nine. It's Destiny Jackson away from the defense. And Alexis Mead. 2-3 zone now from Western Kentucky. Swayze looking for an opening. Top of the key, Destiny Jackson. Off to the right. Thrown back, Bukinevich with six to shoot. Another steal. That time, Abdel Gawad got the steal and she was fouled. Rice was not aware that the shot clock was winding down. Seven one Western Kentucky here in the third quarter. The lead is stretched to nine. Destiny Jackson goes to the bench. India Bellamy returns. Bellamy, sophomore from McDonough, Georgia, averaging four points per game in 12 minutes. Abdel Gawad got a screen. It's another moving screen. There's been three or four of those called against Western Kentucky tonight. That one goes against Jalen Foster, the freshman from Austin. 2-2-1, two, two, full court press here from Western Kentucky. Inbound it to Gooden. Back to Haley Swayze. Swayze left-handed dribble over midcourt. Swayze back to her right hand. Leaves it for Gooden at the Old English Shar. She looks at Lindsay Edmonds and the Rice bench. Gooden initiates the offense. Three right-handed dribbles. Throws it to the free throw line. Bellamy feeds it inside. That's an unnecessary pass. Bellamy can score from four feet. She tried to pass to Austin. And Adele Gawad is foul going the other way. Rice suddenly careless with the basketball. Up to 13 turnovers. Abdel Gawad to the free throw line. She makes the first. A season high for Abdel Gawad. 36 points against Southern Miss in the conference opener. 36 points in 36 minutes. 13 of 18 from the field. 5 of 9 from deep plus 5 free throws. Full court presser Swaley tries to get it in. She finally calls time as Trinity Gooden fell down. It's going to be a foul against Mead. I beg your pardon. Not timeout for Rice. It was Alexis Mead applying pressure. She was called for the foul. Full court press, the hardest we've seen tonight from Western Kentucky. They have three in the backcourt, 
Again, three for Rice. Gooden off to Swayze. Swayze in the front court. Swayze gets near the paint. Throws it out to Buck and Everett. Now it's Gooden. Western Kentucky gets back in a man-to-man -man defense. More like a 2-3 zone. 2-3 zone for Western Kentucky. Swayze with eight to shoot. Draws some contact. Swayze frustrated, looking for an opening. Excellent defense from Lady Toppers. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Gooden went to pass it. Western Kentucky has the ball. Gooden down. The officials call time. Not sure if it's a foul called or checking on the injury. The officials here tonight. Meta Christensen, Josh Howell, and Kristen Bell. It's going to be Western Kentucky basketball. The shot clock violation against Rice. The lead is 11. Rice with four turnovers in the last two and a half minutes. Destiny Jackson returns. Swayley gets a breather. Again, a seven-player rotation tonight for the Rice Owls. Fisher and Swayze on the bench. We have not seen Ariana McCurry yet tonight. Yet to play this season. Abdel Gawad running the offense. The Egyptian top of the key. Open three off the back iron. Good look, but a miss that time for Maya Meredith. Here come the Owls. Trinity Gooden in transition. Blocking foul. Nearly a charge. Called a block. Borderline call there. Her feet may have been in the restricted area. Maya Meredith with the foul. Her second tonight. And Rice gets to the free throw line. Only two free throws attempted tonight. Trinity good into the line. Freshman from Midwest City, Oklahoma, averaging four points, 21 minutes. She's a 59% free throw shooter. She makes the first. Rice averaging seven made threes per game. Maya Bucket Everett leads the entire conference that's conference usa a three-point percentage at 42 percent averaging two made threes per game rice with some moderate pressure in the backcourt western kentucky gets it in the front court with abdel gawad a nine-point lead western kentucky over rice abdel gawad catch and shoot three is long missed everything rice basketball abdel gawad red hot if you look at her last four games 33 against farley dickinson on the road 36 against southern miss 16 against Louisiana Tech. Most recently, 21 at FIU. Helping lead Western Kentucky to a 3-0 start in Conference USA play. Rice down nine, 5.33 left in the third. Bellamy catches it at the left block, spins inside, missed the layup. Loose ball picked up by Western Kentucky. Another rebound for Maya Meredith. There come the Lady Toppers in the front court. Meredith will attack. Good defense from Bellamy. Now she backs it out. And a man defense from Rice. 16 to shoot. Abdel Gawad, great crossover dribble. She gets to the paint and finishes. Miral Abdel Gawad, 20 points on only nine shots. So efficient from the senior from Egypt. She's seven of nine from the field, five of six from the free throw line, plus four rebounds and two steals. The lead 11 for Western Kentucky. The bench for Western Kentucky chanting defense. Good ball fake from Gooden. She gets to the right block but missed it. Rice ice cold really this entire third quarter. Transition basketball. Faustino missed it. Offensive rebound nearly there but it's squeezed by Bellamy. Rice looking for an answer. It's been a tough third quarter for Rice. Outscored 11 to three here since halftime. Bukinevich inside. Austin could not corral it. Last touch by Western Kentucky. But it stays Rice basketball. We've reached the media timeout. Western Kentucky in control. They've stretched the lead from halftime. 11-3 Lady Toppers since the break. And at the media timeout, Western Kentucky leads Rice 43-32. This is Rice Owls basketball from Learfield. Welcome back. 43-32 coming out of the media timeout. Western Kentucky leading. But can never switch the catch. And three-pointer from the left wing. Excellent from the leading three-point shooter in Conference USA at 42% on the season. Bucking average two for six from deep tonight. It's an eight-point game. 43-35 Lady Toppers over the Rice Owls. 
Nice catch on this near side from Hope Savore. It's a 1-3-1 one, one defense for Rice. Savore hits the three. Her first three tonight. Lady Toppers heating up from deep. Now five of 15 from beyond the arc. And a foul from Savori. She tried to chase down Destiny Jackson. Second foul on Hope Savori. And for Western Kentucky, a 15 foul. Rice into the bonus with 343 left in the third quarter. Destiny Jackson to the free throw line. Jackson shooting 68% on the season. Left-hander. Hits the first at a Mansfield, Texas. Destiny Jackson. Rice has a team shooting 65% on the season from the free throw line. He makes one of two. Offensive rebound for Ashley Austin. She puts it back off the left window. Austin's first two points tonight. Austin's been Rice's leading scorer. 17 points per game, but a quiet night and an excellent response. Miral Abdel Deguad, a senior from Egypt. With another three, but Jackson responds coast to coast for the layup. 49 40. Abdel Gawad up to 23 points on only 10 shots attempted. She is so efficient. There's a miss. Offensive rebound on the backside from Selma Kulo. Austin grabs the rebound and She's fouled by Savori as she tried to get it up court. Not Savori, I beg your pardon, that's on Selma Kulo, who is right next to Savori. Abdel Gawad, top 100 in the country in field goal attempts, field goals made, field goal percentage, total points, free throw attempts and made, minutes played, points per game, rebounds, rebounds per game, steals and steals per game. As Austin misses the first, Mayral Abdel Gawad leads Conference USA field goals made, total points, steals, second in points per game. 49 41. Austin missed the first, made the second. It's an eight point game. Lady Toppers leading the Owls. Lady Toppers trying to go to 4 0 to start the Conference USA season. Rice trying to improve to 1 1. Savori open three off the back iron. Austin fighting for the rebound, last touched by Western Kentucky, it's Rice basketball. Last touch by Macy Blevins. First minutes tonight for Tori Hunter. She's a redshirt sophomore from Hoover, Alabama. 21 in red and black. Moderate pressure in the backcourt. Jackson over to Gooden. Jackson throws it behind Malia Fisher. 15 turnover against Rice tonight. Tori Hunter just checked in the game, averaging five minutes per game on the season. She sets the high screen here for Abdel Gawad, rolling off another screen. Jenna Walker, she missed the three. Malia Fisher flies for the rebound. Fifth rebound tonight for Malia Fisher. She goes coast to coast, gets inside the paint to finish. Fisher five points tonight to go with five rebounds and three steals. Rice hanging around. It's 49-43. Lady Toppers over the Owls. Two minutes left in the third. Off to the left corner. Adel Gawad gets a screen. Adel Gawad will dash to the basket. Tries a scoop layup underneath Austin. Nearly rebounded by Fisher. Abdel Gawad takes it from Fisher, lays it up and in. Miral Abdel Gawad, 25 points and only 13 shots attempted. Austin spinning, had her shot blocked by Tori Hunter. Good in with the offensive rebound and put back plus a foul. Trinity Goodin will go to the free throw line. Blevins picks up her third foul. After a short stint, Tori Hunter goes back to the Western Kentucky bench. Good into the free throw line. Four points tonight for Gooden, two for two from the stripe. She completes the three-point play, five points in 18 minutes. Rice has made its last five shots from the field. There is a ill-advised pass overthrown that time. It was transition there from Jenna Walker, the freshman from Alabama. She overthrew it, intended for Macy Blevins. Full-court pressure still here for Western Kentucky. It's a 2-2-1 full court. 
Jackson beats it, Rice down five, throwing inside. Austin will finish off the left window. Ashley Austin might be primed for a big second half. Only five points tonight for Rice's leading scorer. Abdel Gawad attacking, goes against two. Good defense from Fisher. Here come the Owls, three on three. Fisher coast to coast. And she does not finish. It rolls off the rim, nearly there for Fisher. Rice had made six straight shots before that. Suddenly, Western Kentucky's transition defense has not been very good. Handed off for Abdel Gawad. She surveys. 56 left on the game clock, 15 on the shot clock for the Lady Toppers who lead by three. High screen, Abdel Gawad off to the right. It's Blevins to the right window, missed it. Offensive rebound for McBride. Abdel Gawad comes flying in for the finish. Abdel Gawad so efficient. She's up to 27 points tonight, only 15 shots attempted. Short from Fisher on the baseline jumper. Transition from the Lady Toppers, three on three. Hope Savorian in the paint, reverse layup, missed. Abdel Gawad gets the rebound, missed the putback. And it's Jackson who comes away from the scrum with the ball. 15 seconds left in the third. Jackson's pass knocked away and stolen by Blevins. It was initially knocked away by Walker. Too many turnovers tonight for Rice. There's Savori with the three. That's short with two seconds left in the third. Gooden throws it from half court. That's short. And the third quarter comes to a close. Frantic finish to the third quarter. In the end, Western Kentucky outscores Rice 21-19. Rice, a good push there at the end, making six of its last eight from the field. Lindsey Edmonds speaking with Destiny Jackson. Think about calming down and making better decisions against its Western Kentucky press. 53-48 Western Kentucky leads Rice. Here we go. The fourth quarter has begun in Houston. Matt Peterson with you. It's Western Kentucky 53. Rice 48, Western Kentucky has won five straight and nine of 10. Trying to improve to four and zero on the road to open up the Conference USA season. There's a foul, that's Malia Fisher. She guarded Maya Meredith. Second foul on Fisher. Rice with a seven player rotation tonight. It's impressive, they're even hanging around. Down by five. 53-48, Lady Toppers over the Owls. Inbounded to Jalen Foster. And currently on the court for Greg Collins in his fourth season. The helm of Western Kentucky. And Savori, Meade, Meredith, Foster, and Blevins. Cross court to this near side. Blevins, good adjustment. Missed it with three seconds left on the shot clock. Offensive rebound from Alexis Meade. Then it's picked up by Haley Swayze. Swayze all the way down court. Knocked away by Savori. Fisher with the loose ball, pick up and finish. Fisher has seven points. Western Kentucky down court quickly, wide open three off the back iron from Macy Blevins. Tough rebound from India Bellamy. And then a jump ball, it was tied up there by Western Kentucky, but it's Rice Owls basketball. Rice back within three. 53-50 Western Kentucky. 9.02 left in the fourth. Looks like a 2-2-1 a Western Kentucky full court pressure. They put Mead and Savori in the backcourt. Meredith and Blevins around the Old English are and the safety. Deepest defender is Jalen Foster, the freshman. Here comes Trinity Gooden. Western Kentucky trying to trap. Rice beats the pressure, Swayze back to Gooden. Gooden looks towards the bench. Chest high, right-handed dribble, off to Fisher. Then it's Swayze. To the zone here from Western Kentucky. But Kinevich, open three, short. And rebounded by Alexis Mead. Mead down court, Savori. Football catch and finish, excellent pass there. Alexis Mead, perfect pass in stride for Hope Savori. Savori has seven points. A lead back to five for Western Kentucky. Swayze tries a three, that's short. Swayze had a great eight point run. She outscored Western Kentucky eight nothing on her own in the first quarter, but has been quiet since. Swayze now two for nine from beyond the arc. 55-50, Western Kentucky leading. Meredith tries a three and she got it. Meredith very efficient, like Abdel Gawad. She has 15 points and only 10 shots attempted. 
Six of 10 from the field, three of six from deep. Now Meredith up to 15 points in 26 minutes. The lead back to eight for Western Kentucky. The toppers have made seven threes tonight. Gooden attacks. Short pass, Malia Fisher into the paint. Good jump stop. Finish plus a foul from Malia Fisher. Rice hanging around every time Western Kentucky stretches it to eight or nine. Rice fights back a bit. AC Blevins goes to the bench. Teresa Faustino returns. Destiny Jackson back on the court for Rice. It's a break here for Trinity Gooden. Fisher, no dribbles, just takes the free throw and hits it. 10 points from Aliyah Fisher in 23 minutes. She goes to the bench. Ashley Austin returns. Coach Edmonds is really doing a good job with the subs, giving everyone a break. Seven player rotation for Rice tonight, and they're only down by five to Western Kentucky. Savori, short pass to Jalen Foster. Now it's Alexis Mead. Crossover dribble, bounce pass inside. Mead out towards midcourt. Hope Savori throws it inside. Force pass knocked away by Bellany. Picked up by Austin. It's up to Bukinevich. Bukinevich moving to her left. Blocking foul on Hope Savori. That's her fourth. He tried to draw the charge. Second team foul against Western Kentucky. Now a decision time for Greg Collins. Savori looking towards the bench. We roll Abdel Gawan preparing to come on for Savori. Bukinevich makes the first free throw. Rice, eight for 11 from the line tonight. Bukinevich, three dribbles, bends the knees and hits the free throw. She has 12 points in 30 minutes. Savori goes to the bench with her four fouls. We roll Abdel Gawad returns. The leading scorer tonight, 27 points. On 10 of 16 shooting. Alexis Mead dribbling, gets inside the three point line, spins away from Austin, off for Abdel Gawad. Guarded by Destiny Jackson, 10 left on the shot clock, moves to her left, back to her right. She's driving into the paint, throws it out. Right wing three is there. Teresa Faustino out of Barrero, Portugal. Huge shot from the sophomore. The lead back to six for Western Kentucky. The Lady Toppers now eight for 24 from beyond the arc. Entry pass from Austin, foul committed as India Bellamy fought for position. A foul against Jalen Foster. Three fouls on Foster. Baseline right inbounds play for Destiny Jackson. Thrown in and stolen, a needless giveaway there. She was trying to find Jackson. Good defense there from Foster, but you cannot commit that turnover on an inbounds play. Rice still down six with 6.20 left in the fourth. Behind the back dribble from Alexis Mead. Cross court, it's Maya Meredith attacking. Bellamy call for a foul. She appeared to go straight up. Questionable call in my opinion. Goes against India Bellamy. Did not seem to move her arms, look to go Perfectly vertical that time, but instead it's free throws now for Maya Meredith. Meredith, no dribble, misses the first free throw. Back to back Conference USA Freshman of the Week. 20 plus points in two of the last three games. Second best shooting percentage in Conference USA. 59% from the field in conference games, but she misses both free throws. Here come the Owls. Destiny Jackson in the paint. There's another steal. Meredith out to Abdel Gawad. Abdel Gawad up and in. Excellent transition basketball from Western Kentucky. Miral Abdel Gawad had 36 earlier this season. She has 29 tonight on 11 of 17 shooting. That's five steals for Meredith, a new season high. Bukinevich an open three. That's off the right rim. Rebounded by Teresa Faustino. Throws it up. Good transition again from Alexis Mead. Rice is too tired to get down court. Impressive transition basketball. Timeout Owls. The Lady Toppers 
Welcome back. Western Kentucky leads Rice 65-55. Matt Peterson with you. 5.36 left in the fourth. After the Rice timeout, Swayze over midcourt with her left-handed dribble. A 7-0 run in a minute 16 turned a three-point game into a 10-point lead for Western Kentucky. Transition basketball at its best for the Lady Toppers. Austin from the right block to the left wing. Swayze misses the three. Offensive rebound pulled in by Bukinevich. Bukinevich dribbling with the left hand. She gets to the paint, switches to the right hand and finishes off the glass. Excellent from Bukinevich, but here come the Lady Toppers up court. Blocking foul there from Bellamy. That's tough for Rice, a made bucket, but they can't get back on defense in time. Western Kentucky capitalizing on Rice's seven player rotation tonight. Rice doing its best, playing extended minutes, but many of these players simply gassed. Bakanevich has played 32 minutes, Swayze at 31 minutes to lead Rice. First free throw was missed off the front iron from Miral Abdelgawad. What a night she's had, 29 points, 11 of 17 from the field, two of four from deep, five rebounds, three steals in under 30 minutes. She makes the second, she's up to 30 points on the Knights. Pressure from Western Kentucky, they throw three in the backcourt, Gooden breaks it with help from Swayze. 4.55 left in Houston. Western Kentucky leads Rice 66 to 57. Last touch by Western Kentucky. We've hit the media timeout. Rice will have an inbounds play with 17 left on the shot clock. Western Kentucky stretching the lead just a bit. 13 to nine Lady Toppers here in the fourth. And the Lady Toppers have hit their last five from the field. 4.51 left in Houston. Western Kentucky leads Rice 66-57. This is Rice Owls basketball from Learfield. Welcome back. It's 66-57. Western Kentucky leading Rice. 4.51 left in the fourth. After the media timeout, Rice inbounds. Movements from our right to our left in the white and blue uniforms. Western Kentucky guarding a man-to-man -man defense in the red and black. And there's a reach in foul called upon Jenna Walker, a freshman from Priceville, Alabama. 14 foul, first personal foul on Jenna Walker. Mirala Delgawad has been the star. She scored 30 of Western Kentucky's 66 points tonight. Here's Gooden, spinning, using that pivot foot. Black and white circles on her black and white shoes. Inside of Malia Fisher, she turns the free throw line back to Swayze. That one's off the front iron. Haley Swayze misses from deep. She made her first two from three. Now she has missed nine straight from beyond the arc. Crossover dribble from Alexis Mead. Back to the left wing from Miral Abdelgawad. The Egyptian hesitates. Then she gets to the top of the key, leaves it for Jalen Foster. Alexis Mee with seven seconds left on the shot clock attacking. She draws a foul on Haley Swayze. Good improvisation there from Alexis Mead. Mead will go to the free throw line. Mead averaging four assists per game, most by any conference USA freshman this season. Seventh most overall for the conference. She makes the first free throw. Lady Toppers now 7-11 from the line tonight. Career high, 25 points in a win over Indiana State earlier this season. She makes both. Western Kentucky leading 68-57. to Rice breaks the pressure. Swayze back to Trinity Gooden. Back to Swayze. Run off the three-point line. She tries the mid-range. That one's short. Backside rebound for Maya Meredith. Now Meredith, a season high five steals tonight, plus two blocks. Now she has seven rebounds and 15 points. What an all around game for the freshman from Kentucky, Maya Meredith. Alexis Mead off to Meredith. She hits a three. Add that to the stat sheet. Maya Meredith, 18 points, seven rebounds, two blocks, and five steals in 30 minutes for Maya Meredith. Western Kentucky, its largest lead at 14 points. And now, potential ankle injury here right in front of us for Jenna Walker. Walker back to her feet, favoring that left ankle. Spokanevich misses from 15 feet. 
Loose ball, back to this side. Walker playing, I don't know how she's running on that ankle right now. Abdel Gawad, tough finish off the left window. Now an injury timeout for the very tough Jenna Walker who somehow got to the front court on that ankle. Abdel Gawad now 32 points, 12 of 18 from the field. She has been sensational tonight. Niral Abdel Gawad averaging 24 points in conference games this season. Overall, 19 and a half points per game, but continuing. She's getting better and better as the season goes, as Rice calls time. Look at the last few games from Miral Abdel Gawad. Simply sensational. 36 points, her season high against Southern Miss. That's a career high. But tonight is the fourth time in her last seven games she's hit 30 points or more. She's doing this all so efficiently. She's shooting 53% on the season, 33% from beyond the arc, 72% from the line. It's a 15-2 run for Western Kentucky. They were only up by three, but they've stretched it to 16 over the last four minutes after the timeout. Rice back out there with Gooden, Jackson, Austin, Swayze, and Bukinevich. Cross-court pass, nearly stolen. It's Last touch by Teresa Faustino, the sophomore from Portugal. Rice will inbound to our left with Haley Swayze. Meet at Del Gawad, Meredith Foster, and Faustino, the five on the court for Western Kentucky, playing a 2-3 zone. Jackson against Bukinevich. Jackson attacking. She'll finish off the left window. Jackson, 11 points tonight, 5 of 6 from the field. Rice picks up in full court press. And Meredith will walk it over midcourt. Maya Meredith defensive force tonight with two blocks and five steals. Abdel Gawad will slow things down. Shot clock at 15. Crossover dribble, Abdel Gawad. She'll get to the line. It's not a crossover, but it looks like it. She acts like she's going to go from the right to her left, but she has great wrist control and hand control, and she keeps it on the right side of her body and then attacks. What a season. Miral Abdel Gawad, who averaged eight points as a freshman, four years ago, eight points as a sophomore, 11 as a junior, and now 19 and a half. That's climbing after tonight. Kind of favoring that right knee before these free throws, and the trainer out for Rice. Assessing the right knee of Trinity Gooden. Again, a seven player rotation for Rice, so unfortunate for the Owls and Lindsay Edmonds. Caitlin Crossweight in straight close tonight with a brace over her right knee. Ariana McCurry has not played this season. And good and helped off. Simply stunning for Rice. She's lifted and carried into the locker room by the training staff who does not want to favor a leg. Trinity Gooden will enter the locker room with 2.13 left and now Rice down to six available players. We certainly hope Trinity Gooden's okay. And they'll go on to the free throw line. Western Kentucky up 14, make it 15, or free throw is good. She's now 7-9 from the free throw line. Back iron, miss. Swayze with the rebound. For the Rice Owl, Swayze looking up court. She finds Jackson. It's a 15-point lead for the Lady Toppers. 2.05 left in the fourth. Jackson attacking. Throws it back. Fisher from the free throw line. Off the back iron. Swayze fights for the rebound. Good hustle from Haley Swayze. Back for Jackson. Jackson throws it to Bukinevich. Cross court for Fisher into the paint. Three dribbles. Last touch by the Lady Toppers. 12 left on the shot clock for Rice. Rice is now 4 of 24 from beyond the arc tonight. 17% from deep for the Owls. Inbound it to Fisher, cross court for Jackson. It's a 2-3 zone from Western Kentucky. Bukinevich misses a three. Rebound pulled in by Maya Meredith. Meredith, eight rebounds to go with her 18 points, two blocks, and five steals. Western Kentucky is going to improve to 4-0 and 
in Conference USA play and stretch the overall win streak to six. Miss from Meredith. Offensive rebound from Teresa Faustino. Another possession for the Lady Toppers with 113 left. They'll go on, backs it out. Near the three-point line with Alexis Mead. Thrown inside, it's a steal there for Ashley Austin. Here's Swayze from the left block off the window and in. 74-61, Lady Toppers. Swayze up to 14 points. She had an eight-point burst in the first quarter where she outscored Western Kentucky 8-0 on her own. Thrown inside, Bukinevich knocks it out. Western Kentucky will have an inbounds play. Jordan Smith checks in for her first minutes tonight. Sophomore guard from Philadelphia, 25 in red and black. Abdel Gawad goes to the bench. They're checking out her left knee. They've just banked into another Rice player. It does not look too serious. Another bucket for Western Kentucky. It's now 76-61. Meredith with another two points. She's up to 20 points tonight. Lady Toppers have made eight of their last nine shots from the field. Last touch by Fisher. Lady Topper basketball. 32 seconds left in this game. Next up, a three-city road trip to Denton for Western Kentucky. They take on North Texas Saturday afternoon. And for Rice, they stay home to take on Marshall Saturday at 2 p.m. Western Kentucky will inbound with Teresa Faustino. There's a two-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock, and the Lady Toppers leading by 15. Western Kentucky has scored 44 points in half time. Have outscored Rice by 10 here in the fourth. Stretching a five point lead to 15. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Waning second to this game. Off to the right for Faustino. Faustino in the paint. Off the left window for two. Five points for Faustino. Three seconds left for Destiny Jackson. She throws it up from 30 feet. It's off the left window, and that is the ball game. Western Kentucky 4-0 in Conference USA. The Lady Toppers have won six in a row. They improved to 11-4 on the season. Rice, its first home game in a month, reduced to a seven-player rotation. They ended the game with only six players. We hope Trinity Goodman's okay. She went to the locker room with under three minutes remaining. Rice falls to 5-5, five 0-2 and five, oh and two in Conference USA play. The star tonight, once again, Biral Abdel Gawad, the senior from Egypt, 33 points, 12 of 18 from the field, plus five rebounds, and an all around performance from Maya Meredith, the freshman from Taylor Mill, Kentucky, with 20 points, eight of 13 from the field, four of 18 from deep, plus two blocks, and a season high five steals. What a showing in 34 minutes from Maya Meredith. We'll take a break, we'll come back and wrap it up. This is Rice Owls basketball from Learfields. <laughs> 